because I, 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 I told them my ass feels great in the new vibe pants or, uh, or in the vibe pants in general and they're that's the only quote they're using. Well, that's the only quote they're using. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. At least you can spill water here. Right. Cast members are just going. Well, I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to spill water on the fucking thing. Uh, more gracefully than, than I anticipated. I mean, a lot can happen in six months, and that's exactly where the season picks up, is six months after the disappearance of Barry. Um, yes, he's very optimistic. Um, he's out in the field with Kit Flash, um, trying to keep the city together. Unfortunately, they haven't been doing as good a job as Barry did by his lonesome. Um, so, in light of that, uh, the team concludes that, you know, it's not the same without Barry. So I wouldn't be surprised if Cisco had some things up his sleeve with regards to how to get Barry back. Who, Cisco? Yeah. Uh, Cisco? Yes, yes. He even goes so far as to um, call the team uh, in a somewhat cheeky way, Team Vibe, at a certain point. So <laughs> you can look forward to that. Does, it, does being a superhero suit him, or does he sort of struggle with that? Would be better as the backup? I think Cisco's fate, it, like throughout this whole show, is constant growth. You know, and so because you know he's a kid. You know what I mean? He's he's a grown ass twenty year old man, but in in here he's a kid. You know, he's optimistic. He believes in the best in people, and he's irreverent. You know, in the least appropriate of situations, he finds a way to you know poke fun at things. You know. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's it's constant growth for Cisco. So I think he's still learning how to hold his own. But definitely um, at the top of season four, I think he's more in control of his powers than he was previously. Now that he, he owns it more. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, now that he has, he knows he has a connection with Gypsy. Mm -hmm. uh, does that mean there's more romance for him this season? Like Thank you. This is my biggest talking like... point today, guys. Um, <laughs> this is um, so the relationship with Gypsy. Um, is definitely going to continue and get a lot more involved. And as the relationship gets more involved, as Cisco wants to take it to the next level, he's going to encounter some new characters that are going to make that very difficult for him. And this is a reveal at the panel that I'm very excited about. So to find out more, you're just going to have to wait for the panel. Do you think that, one of, and I said this earlier to somebody uh, that you were talking to, but the show started off as sort of the bright spot of the DC universe, mm -hmm. and it feels like it's become really one of the darker spots of the mm -hmm. DC universe. Is that a feeling shared? or? Absolutely. I think it's shared unanimously uh, among the cast and our creative team as well. Um, so much so, actually, that um, the show it's in and of itself has collectively decided to go in a much lighter direction. Because, you know, I think the writers understand that what made the show as special as it was, especially in the first season, um, was that levity, you know, was taking these extraordinary circumstances and poking holes in them and, you know, making them light, but also believable and grounded with a little bit of heart, you know. So, um, so I think we're definitely going back to those roots um, and actually, you know, taking the levity note even further because I'm I'm already halfway through the third episode and reading it and there's a lot of comedy. Yeah. Does that mean Cisco's gonna be adding more nicknames to like the villains coming in? I mean Cisco will always be the name dude. That's like a law in our universe. Um, yeah. And if anybody tries to subvert that, you know, he gets angry with them. Um, but um, but yeah, there's definitely like Cisco's gonna keep doing his one liners, his quips, you know. Yeah. Exactly. I think what's fun about playing this character, honestly, is when you get to be out in the field and fighting and breaching and all that stuff and take that levity out into those like ridiculous situations. Um, but yeah, I also enjoy that everybody else gets a chance to be a little funnier this year, too. You know? So yeah. Um, I think somebody has to be in charge, and uh, within the six months that Barry's been gone, Iris really steps up to the plate and takes the mantle, you know? You're even going to notice, like, a bit of a new look uh, in Star Labs a little bit, as she commandeers the, the ship, so to speak. So, it's really exciting. Is there anything you want to clarify about your comments about the five pants? No. I learned my lesson, and you're not going to get me this time. You're not gonna get. You're not gonna catch me saying that my ass looks great in those leather pants. God, <laughs> did it again. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Appreciate it.